ChatGPT, AI image generation, and overall the phrase artificial intelligence being the most trending it has ever been. But they all seem to forget about video editors. Okay, maybe there are no robots that can edit entire videos for you, but what if I told you they can help you significantly in the video editing process? Plus, they can save you a lot of time. Here's how do you Premiere Pro and DaVinci user. I think that one of the most annoying parts of video editing is doing the basic stuff. What if I told you that there is software that can edit a roll for you? The software I'm talking about cuts silences and mid-sentence stuttering automatically. This guy, Open PC Reviews, modified an app created by Wired Blue and it is called Auto Editor. He has made it so that if you simply drag over your footage onto this file called aegpu.exe, it will do just that. Of course you'll have to wait a couple of minutes, but hey, you do not have to do anything. For example, here I drag over 20 minutes of uncut talk and the program deletes everything that is unnecessary and takes it down to 10 minutes. But do not expect it to do everything for you. You will still have to remove all the mistakes you made while speaking. This works best with an Intel CPU and an Nvidia GPU. But if you are on Team Red, everything is nicely explained in the video. The download link can be found in the description of OpenPC Reviews tutorial and the video can be found in the description. Adobe Audio Enhancer does not require any downloads, it is an online tool. Here you can drag audio that is low quality or is somehow corrupted and it will fix everything for you, almost, because even though it is a really powerful tool, it does not always work correctly. Let's check it out. I'm using my phone's microphone, the audio quality is not good, this room has a lot of echo. And now you can hear me through Adobe's audio enhancer. I hope the quality is much better. The auto scene detection uses AI to calculate where a cut has been made in a video and splits up the footage exactly in the places where cuts have been detected. For Premiere, just right click on any clip in your timeline, select scene edit detection and then analyze. For Resolve, just locate the video file, right click and hit auto scene cut detection. Using I and O, select an in and out point and once you're happy with your selection, click auto scene detect. Once everything is done, you can add cuts to the media pool. In the edit page, just select all of the clips and drag over everything down to the timeline. Subtitles in videos can really boost the retention, so they keep the viewer engaged and focused. But typing them out manually on longer videos is like using a typing machine for calculus. There is a way though to automate that process and here's how. In Premiere, go to window, text and this will open a new window. Click transcribe sequence, choose the audio track in which you want to convert the speech to text. You can play around with these settings. For example, you can select a certain portion of a video using X on your keyboard and then by selecting use in point to out point only. After that, click transcribe and correct any mistakes if present. Next, create captions, adjust the settings and click on create. Upgrade caption to graphic and now you have your subtitles converted to default plain text. You can leave it, adjust the style and you can also animated using some kind of preset pack or using keyframes. And now for DaVinci users, the next tip will be definitely helpful, but this one is currently oh unavailable God. in DaVinci, and I did not find any free alternative for this. Sorry guys. Now it's time for something that is only available for DaVinci users. Resolve Magic Mask uses AI to mask out a selected object instead of manually creating a mask and keyframing everything. You can find the Magic Mask right before the blur tab in the color mode. All you have to do is to draw a rough outline of something and it creates a really nice mask. In order to see what you have selected, you need to have the mask overlay option on. There are also other features, for example, just selecting the face, the hair, the arms, etc. You can also select the elements you do not want to include using this little button. Now you can color grade the object Magic Mask has selected for you.